so hello welcome blight is here though and welcome to my little test uh, um, creative mood save that i have uh, and today we're gonna do some gases and we see my little setup i'm just like test testing this new stuff uh, and have um, like uh, yeah some things here though uh, the creative mode I had don't have the power issues such stuff but so back to here the, the first thing you need to do with all the gases is put the right thing in the right um, pipe so to speak so we we ha we just take air from from the atmosphere air of of mars uh, and put that into a tank so that you can see here we have a little bit um, yeah pollution that's water and stuff um we don't have the other f things though but Eventually, this uh, system here is taking care of that uh, quite uh, fast, though. So, first, I'm gonna explain, though, here. So, we have the... Mm, oh, we can do the condensation valve and expansion valve. And that's those all you find in the kit of the valve though so you find uh, that expansion valve and that uh, condensation wall uh, so what the condensation valve is doing is taking all the liquid from your gas pipes so taking the liquid and put that into a liquid pipe so that's what that do. This is doing the opposite. It's taking the liquids uh, from that and go out there. If I'm understanding the the content uh, right here, though, but that x do the opposite here, though. So scrap that. We're gonna use this in our build. So. And the next thing here, though, we have, we need to have in the build is the purge. I don't know if I, uh, purge valve, if I have uh, pronounced that right, I don't know. That you find in the kit of the, the pressure regulator uh, kit, you just scroll and you find that there so this unit is taking out the gases that builds up in your liquid pipe so and this pressure uh, you can um, choose a, a pressure here and that's for the out going gases so what you want to spare some pressure in your pipe liquid pipe so if you set that on 50 you got 50 in your liquid pipe uh, left and it's throwing out the rest gases to the gas pipe so it depends on how much pressure do you want to have but I go with the lo very low settings of, of that. Uh, good or bad, I don't know. But my system kind of works. That's doing that. And that's this you also get. Uh, pressure valve. So where were we? Yeah, we were explaining this pressure valve. No. So that do the opposite of this. It's gaining or building up pressure in your uh, pipe. Uh, 
um, yeah, maybe you can uh, use that. So that's probably exactly the same there. You 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 uh, pressurize this side here, or um, no, that's that sign. Sure. Yeah, pressure in 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 here, exactly. Um, so um, yeah, that side and down, and you get those exactly from the pressure uh, uh, regulator kit. So, so uh, we go over here. You see my setup, though. I have. Uh, this uh, condensation valves. Gonna see, look and see here. We have uh, pretty much um, liquid in that. We have some um, gases. So, but I have set those uh, to like two in pressure. So it's relieve. Really when it's over two out to that um uh, so some little pressure you can kind of go up a little bit more if you uh, want to uh, do um no uh so you get uh, maybe but it doesn't do anything so those are pretty good you uh, you have clean gases in there uh, so and over to this and here comes the little bit tricky part though because now you need to like set pressure on 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 those here evaporator chamber and the condensation chamber and yeah consider what you gases have different temperature and stuff uh, that you can look up on on your page here i had the um, pollution though that that gas uh, that we don't need actually though Says here is a, a good uh, cooling gas, but nah, I, I have trouble with uh, purifying that uh, right now. But I will probably fix that. Um, but you see the CO2, for example, here though, we have uh, minimum condensation pressure. Uh, and that's five, uh, five um, seventeen kph at that temperature, uh, and max liquid temperature you have. So you have all the info you actually, and we have at six thousand kph. Uh, so. I figure we need to find a middle way of all that. So CO2, it's also the same-ish though. It's a little bit different in minimum condensation. And, and but uh, I think we find a middle way of uh, O2 and N2 as well so that's also like the same ish there uh, though um, so we set the condensation valve oh doesn't matter uh, to 3000 and like you see here Yeah, it's like uh, 41 degrees below. It's 5,000 though in MP though only. Uh, and here is O2. That pollution I skipped for now though. 
it's working on the CO2 there so and uh, that's the pipe though so yeah so you need to like uh, maybe do if you want to do a special gas uh, to be special or like for example the pollution or some other when you start doing ice uh, rockets and stuff you might look, look into like do a specific system for exactly that gas or getting that in the specific uh, thing or specific temperature and stuff so probably maybe do that so this is also set to free i have fooled around with it a little bit but evacuation chamber here um yeah it's it's doing its stuff with free uh, maybe can tune it in a little bit more to do the 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 um, the pollution for example i i don't find a, like that gas useful right now so uh, CO2 and uh, C, yeah, O2 and CO2 and uh, uh, nitrogen you need to have uh, in in your uh, that we have here. Like those are perfect uh, in in seven degrees though. And here after here I'm doing just to make sure that. We have the right thing in the right uh, pipe. Uh, don't think uh, that's a oh, little bit necessary though, uh, because here I have CO2 building up a liquid frozen viper thing in, in this uh, tube. Uh, so it's doing its job this is also the condensation valve and that's the push valve so it's pushing out the the gases into there uh so and i actually played around with it a little bit though with cooling having uh put uh, that uh, uh i skipped the exchanging con uh, gas heat exchange thingy so doing that heat exchange uh, thing so I did I put all those connection up here though the exchanging valves exchanging uh, to one pipe going through here and I put a gas just put the gas in with with uh, like we can fly a little bit with uh, just this so it's pushing in ah, it's just one kph here right now uh doesn't matter actually i think so it's holding a temperature of 46 minus and that's keeping like equalizing the temperature between those two or that one heats that one or whatever uh, so it's keeping it like nice and cold nice and cold nice and cold nice and cold uh all things here though it may be take a while before the the system like works exactly properly maybe uh, we have the other pollution gas like when this equalized though or getting better uh so that's what i find out uh, with playing around with it um maybe this helps you a little bit uh with struggle with your uh, save or old save for that matter uh the old saves maybe <laughs> like i have struggled with mine 
uh, I blown up my base um, trying to figure this out I decided yeah I'm building me a creative mood and I did and I just threw out a lot of stuff and it started with just taking the, the atmosphere of the planet into the system now um so this is more what i said mars so we'll probably do creative world in that other other biomes or other planets we have and here i'm just simply yeah putting out the gases so this is not so this is like seven degrees of um, and almost 70 degrees below co2 and o2 as well so um yeah and i just built a filter system for that there so um it uh, works um and actually i did if you're taking atmosphere from from the planets like that i had a little problem because pipes almost um, exploded uh, a lot so I built me a little system though that like uh, just control what uh, pressure liquid pressure you can actually take the liquid uh, uh, what's that old volume of liquid uh, and measure that and have that so the fan uh, stops if you're using like taking gases from the atmosphere will probably be a good way to not explode your pipes to do uh, write a little program to do like yeah uh, so you don't overload your gas pipes with um, liquid so you stop when uh, that's a little bit high uh, otherwise you kind of blew all your system now but but that's another story i'm not uh, so good at programming but i can uh, i don't really show you my little program though it's not much uh, so i'm just measuring the tank and big vent i'm calling that uh, and uh, analyzer uh, and I'm uh, like taking pressure from the tank uh, and set that to 48 yeah and I'm measuring the volume of liquid in the analyzer and yeah when that reaches like three I set it on there is uh, you can have a little liquid in the pipes before it bursts so not stop at zero though so otherwise you don't get any gases at all in so yeah that's just a small program uh, not worth like taking out so i will probably come back with a series of like the liquid uh, once again with like when you come to ice crushing because there I think we need more than ever like uh, have a separate system for each gases maybe maybe not some of the gases though because uh, like volatiles they can just crush with a, no matter doesn't uh, do anything um it's it's just become right temperature directly but maybe o2 or nos for that matter that was a pain in the ass for me right now so yeah we'll probably come down with another guide tour of that 
so um yeah that's that's pretty much it for this little stuff though hope it's mm, giving you a little bit help for the newcomers to this and hope 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 um that uh yeah do leave a comment or whatever down below uh will uh, glad we appreciate some little support stuff uh for this or if you have an idea or whatever we just leave a comment we'll try to to oh i will write read it uh well, maybe like like and subscribe to my channel um uh, so I will appreciate that so the sun rises on Mars and we're done with the little uh, creative stuff here and I will probably stream though I will leave a link to my stream uh, uh, we'll see yeah after, not after I'm releasing this though, but I will get a notice uh, on uh, Twitch or yeah, Twitter. That not called Twitter anymore, but uh, if you follow me there or on go follow me on Twitch, uh, you get a notice of when I'm live streaming this stationaires stuff so um yeah thank you for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye